Front Mission Evolved takes place in the Front Mission universe. Uh, there's a couple key reasons we wanted to bring another game into the universe. One is we love the sort of military themes Front Mission Evolved brings. All the favorite factions are back, the UCS, OCU, uh, and it's still in a military world, so the Wanzers are really uh, designed to work as military instruments. There's helicopters and uh, tanks and a whole mil military arsenal. In terms of the story Front Mission Evolved, this is sort of a separate uh, storyline from the previous games, but it does take place in the same world and you'll visit places you visited before, like Huffman Island and Fort Montes. The single player uh, game in Front Mission is a 17 mission campaign, it takes about 12 hours. Uh, it's a fairly linear game and that's because we wanted to tell really the story of Dylan Ramsey, who's the pilot of a prototype Wanzer you start in. Uh, so throughout the game you sort of follow Dylan's uh, journey as he figures out why Manhattan was attacked and how his father was involved. You play mostly inside of your Wanzer, uh, and inside the Wanzer it's all about sort of trying to take out the enemy Wanzers. Uh, there's a variety of AI types you have to deal with, uh, whether they're heavier Wanzers that sort of move directly towards you, or sniper Wanzers, or ones that use missiles. Uh, to vary up the gameplay, you also get to jump outside of the Wanzer for four missions in the game, which is a great chance to sort of see a different perspective of the world. The first time you really see a Wanzer in human form, uh, you know, you get a sense for how big these things really are. Gameplay in Front Mission Evolved is an uh, action shooter. Uh, you can customize your Wanzer just as in previous games, and the way you customize your Wanzer highly dictates the gameplay. So if you decide to sort of customize sort of a light, fast Wanzer, uh, mobility will be on your advantage and you'll be ducking in and out of cover to try to take out guys. Uh, likewise, you could also go with sort of heavy armor, and then you'll be a little bit slower, but you'll be able to soak up more damage and dish it out. There's over 40 different weapons, uh, 16 types of Wanzer parts. Uh, you can customize individually for arms, legs, and torso. Uh, in addition to that, you've got battle skills which can enhance your weapon with a variety of effects, like uh, depleting the enemy's energy, doing damage over time. Uh, and then lastly, you can fully visually customize the Wanzer, so you can set up different colors and decals, so it not only plays like how you want, but also looks uh, exactly how you want your Wanzer to look. So multiplayer and Front Mission Evolved, uh, there's four different modes in multiplayer. There's deathmatch, team deathmatch, uh, and two more territorial-based gameplay modes. One is called Domination. Uh, domination is where you try to capture turrets located around the map. Uh, and once you capture them, the turrets actually join your team and fire on the enemy wanzers. So it's nice to be able to try to take them over and then sort of protect them from the enemy team. Uh, the last mode is called Supremacy, and Supremacy is sort of a, a, a King of the Hill type mission where there's a control point that randomly moves throughout the environment and you try to take control of it and keep the uh, enemy team out. Uh, the gameplay is mostly team based for multiplayer. It's four on four teams uh, and we really like the sort of team based feel because you know it's all about customizing your Wanzer and it's one layer to sort of customize your own Wanzer and get that cool uh, but it's even better when you work with a team and like one person sets up a repair backpack to heal the team and another one sets up an EMP to sort of stun the enemy. So there's multiple levels of sort of customization and cooperation. Front Mission Evolved comes out on September 28th on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC.